Good morning all. Seven o'clock, Saturday morning. Uh, a little bit late this morning starting, but we've got a lorry coming for a load of barley, so uh, winter barley uh, that we combined the other, other well, week ago. Um, we need to get it cleared because um, it, everything now is ready. Winter wheat, spring wheat, well, spring wheat, it's ready, but it could hold its own for another week or so. But um, beans are ready, um, and everything's just going to come at, all at once. So it's going to be absolute nightmare. That's, well, not a nightmare, but it's going to be bedlam. We're going to be flat out now, I think, all the way to September. So, um, well, that's if the weather allows us to. So I've got to shift this barley out to make the room for the crop that hopefully will be coming in middle of next week because they are giving us a fair um, a fair forecast like Monday on. So well then they're giving a they are giving some showers towards the end of next week. But I've always said at the best you can forecast the weather about sort of um, three days myself and the best. So you know let's hope they're wrong for the back end of the week. But I'm just going to open up the workshops now and the grain stores and uh, turn this. I'm going to. I'll tell you more in a moment. Hello. 
loaders are okay, but no tractor loader can stand beside a uh, loader. You know, they are an excellent piece of loading equipment. I know you boys like your skid steers and things, but... You know, I've just done two bucket changes in about five, five, uh, about 30 seconds to be honest with you. That's our old bucket for loading corn. And this is a new one, which you can see there's a big difference in size. Uh, the trouble is, we load corn a lot when we're combining and that and moving corn about, so we're actually pretty keen to get done whatever we're doing when we're doing it because we want to be combining or baling straw. But as you can see, by the, side, by the puddles that are laying everywhere. There ain't a lot of combining going on at the minute. All baling straw. on the back of the bucket says it holds three cubic meters. Now I don't know how much that is in tons but three cubic meters seems a lot. Three cubic meters is three thousand three thousand liters. No. I filled that up with water and I could uh, can I load my sprayer. I don't know my sprayer on. Not off the top of my head. Right, what we have been doing with this grain, we've been stirring it. Because uh, when we put it in here, it was a bit, a bit warm. Not a lot warm, just a bit warm. So, I do recommend stirring it, get some heat out of it. But we haven't got any blowing or drying. So, um, you know, we can't blow it. We've got a couple of little sucker blower things which are actually in the other shed uh, on a bit of wheat. So, uh, yeah, we haven't got them. They're damp, not in the slightest, it's just warm. No. Like I said, I've got a lorry coming and the door up and let the air through. A good sized bucket. Soon shift some stuff with it. Gonna hop out and um, open the other door up. The keys are in it, the other ones. Electric, so I like my electric because they're very secure. You turn the power off, the bugger can get in there, well, not unless they ram the door off. I've seen that done before, mainly on industrial sites. Too many of them burning in the field to uh, 
there too much uh, car builder. I don't know how much I've got in here, but I've ordered two lorries to take it away.
and then um, yeah, no, that was a very important hour yesterday because we we got it fixed and just as we got it fixed, lo and behold, it started raining. Buggered, he can't hardly get some grain in this thing. Must be close on another cube in the other one. Uh, I've told the lads this is just for handling grain, this bucket. We've got the other grain bucket which we used to use. Um, and we've got our um, rough old bucket which we use for anything, scraping the yard or whatever. need a good size bucket. Because me and a lorry driver and myself will have to wait for loading and everything. It drives you bloody mad waiting to get loaded. So the quicker you can load the lorry the better. The more they better they like it so you know. These old boys who come in for this grain. No the sooner are they here and they want to be off again. But, which used to aggravate me a bit, but now I understand. The lorry to stand, it ain't earning no money. If you're burning your drunk, burning your working hours up. No, I understand now why everybody on lorries is in such a rush. Next job. 